Da, 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 da. We aren't going to have a whole lot of lectures in this class about art history, but I have to do a little bit. So, intro to jewelry, a brief history, and then some. So, what I need you to do right now is pull out your sketchbook, open up to page one, right, the very first page, and write what you think is a good one-sentence definition of jewelry. What does jewelry mean? Pause the video while you write it. All right, now when you've come back, below that, write as many different types of jewelry that you can think of. So do this without looking it up. Just go with what comes up off the top of your head. Now, if English is not your first language or you're not super comfortable with it, you are welcome to write the terms in your own home language. I don't mind, because um, I will still be able to see that you're thinking of different types of jewelry. And while I may not know what the terms are, I can still look them up because I have access to the internet. Once you're done with that, try to count up, total up the different types you were able to come up with and write it at the bottom and circle it. So at the top, you're writing your one sentence definition of jewelry. Over the rest of your page, you're listing as many different types of jewelry or jewelry pieces that you can think of. And at the bottom, you're writing that number and circling it. Good? If you need to go back, refresh this part and move forward, because I'm going to move on. So how long has jewelry existed? Humans, and the Neanderthals before us, have been adorning ourselves for more than 100,000 years. The oldest known piece of jewelry found is an eagle talon bracelet or necklace that dates back to around 135,000 years ago. And this link here is where I found that information and also has some other really cool information about the history of jewelry and the oldest pieces that have been found. So as you can see, there's a variety of materials. These both appear to be necklaces. Croatian Neanderthal jewelry, 135,000 years ago. Do you guys know where Croatia is? Right? Nasarius shell beads, 100,000 to 75,000 years ago. Chlorite bracelet, ostrich egg beads, gold beads. Right? So this website, you're welcome to look at on your own time. I will have a link to our presentation so you can access it for yourself. But now coming back into this, we need to go back a page. Because so many of the earliest pieces were made of organic materials or materials that can de decay with time, we have no real way of knowing when the first pieces of jewelry were made. So even though these Eagle Talon pieces are made of organic materials, they're just hard enough that they were able to last. But who knows? Humans and Neanderthals could have been making jewelry for millions of years. And that's why there's a hyperlink here to Lucy. If you don't know who Lucy is, it was a really huge scientific discovery about a possible missing link between humans and apes. So this isn't necessarily important in the scheme of jewelry making, but it's a really interesting article about Lucy and proto-humans and otherwise human development. Coming back into this again, what is jewelry? The dictionary definition is personal ornaments, such as necklaces, rings, or bracelets that are typically made from or contain jewels and precious metal. Jewelry, in its many forms, has been used as personal adornments, status symbols, ceremonial and ritual artifacts, bartering tools, religious imagery, and supernatural talismans. But our working definition for class, small pieces of wearable art. Now, thinking this defi dictionary definition, these classic examples that have spanned history, and our working definition for class, how do they compare to the original one that you wrote on page one? Are they at all similar? Are they completely different? Why do you think that is? So what is jewelry made of? 
The dictionary definition says that jewelry is made from jewels and precious metal. So some examples of gemstones or jewels are diamonds, rubies, opals, and larimar. And some examples of precious metals are silver, gold, platinum, and rhodium. So these are all in different stages of completion, right? So right here we have a silver ingot or a silver bar that's ready for processing. Here we have a melted down gold nugget, some platinum ore, and rhodium that hasn't even been mined fully from the bedrock that it sits in. But Miss Tran, we don't have those. Worry not, dear makers, for that is only the dictionary definition. And as you guys know, dictionary definitions are only part of what we learn. There are many other common materials that jewelry is made out of, such as thread, glass, plastic, fibers, grass, bone, seeds, paper, and basically anything else you can put on a string and wear on your body. In our class, we'll be using paper, fiber, glass, thread, polymer clay, which is a kind of plastic, and some metal. Right? What kinds of jewelry will you make? Ultimately, there are close to 70 different types of jewelry that are commonly known in the Western world, and there are countless others from different cultures around the rest of the world. In this class, though, we'll focus on four main types. Bracelets, necklaces, pendants, and earrings. Were those four part of the initial ones that you were able to list? I hope so. Hopefully this has been at least a minutely interesting introduction to jewelry, as now we will get started in the actual making of the pieces.